guys! Welcome back to another episode of Modern Sky Blackberry with Haley, and we're picking up where we left off with embers. Uh, I did a little bit of changing some things. Let's jump in real quick. All right, so last episode, we went ahead and made the bin and had everything sneak out of here. Uh, not sneak out, but I did try in between episodes uh, to bring this down a level and just put the chest kind of next to the atom extractor, even with the pipe extending. So I don't know <laughs> specifically, um, but it seems like that didn't work. So I went ahead and put it back to the original setup. Uh, and you can also smelt uh, other items. You don't have to smelt wood in this. I did forget that. And I apologize, guys. I am not prepared on comments <laughs> on this episode. Uh, I'm in the process of actually getting ready to go on a trip. So I'm recording a little bit ahead and I'm trying not to rush through things. I want to make sure you guys still get the great great quality content uh, that I always write. Yeah, great quality. That's what we'll say. All right. But yeah, so um, if you guys know if I can actually uh, set this up differently. I, I think for some reason the chest has to go underneath it or uh, whatever's underneath it has to be empty specifically but that's the only way I'm actually able to get the ash into here uh, like I said you can put different stacks of items and I think somebody had commented about like setting it up like put a cobblestone generator up here and just have it uh, going into it it's a noise I'm hearing noises, uh, but um, that that's what I'm going to do. So I got a stack of cobblestone in there, and I went ahead and turned this lever off because uh, it does still shoot ember, and I kind of ran out of ember, but luckily, the recipe to make ember is really easy. This requires crystal shards and blaze powder, if you remember that from a few episodes ago, so I'm just kind of saving ember here. Now, there is a gauge in this mod, but I, can't, I don't think it's actually called gauge. What is it called? Ember? Yeah. Oh, wait, is that it? No, that's what I made last time, the atmospheric gate. But it's something that tells you exactly how much ember is in this thing. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. We want to get through the pack because we're trying to get to make antimony. Now, just a quick reminder, antimony is... Antimony is made from... In the alchemical mixer, it's going to take lead and sugar. Now, I do remember a con comment. I think it was from Catherine. It may have been Linda. Both of you ladies are so awesome. But it was a comment about why the quest book doesn't have us make a melter. That, you know, it's I, that's a very good question because you need a melter in order to get things into here. But the only thing I think of is maybe it wants us to use... Um, like tanks and things to pull it out of the smeltery. I, I, I don't know, but uh, I'm going to use a melter, so we'll talk about that. Uh, let's see, there's a melting recipe here. And then I'm going to get molten sugar. Sugar is made in the melter as well. So I'm going to have to make a melter. I, I don't know why it doesn't have us make it, but we're going to move on. We're going to work on the stamper today because uh, we need a stamper to make Dawn Stone to make uh firing my lasers <laughs> to be able to get the alchemy it's all the way over here to antimony so it's probably in here with alchemy with lasers or something but we're going to make the stamper and then we're going to make all these bar stamps so the stamper is really easy to make uh so we're, it's a two-part item let's go ahead and make it and then we'll look in the book and see what it says about it so it looks like i just need a block of iron copper and these camonites and then the the base takes the Kamenite bricks, two iron, and a bucket. And the base is just four of those bricks. I should have everything here. I'm, I need a little bit more iron, so we'll go grab that. And we'll get this set up. So the stamper essentially is going to melt down fluids. And, uh, oops, I'm still doing And it's going to, uh, kind of, it's kind of like the, um, what's that thing I have over there? The Tinker Smeltery. Okay, you know, I'm just going to make this. Let's see. I need two of these. Let's go ahead and get that made up. I need a block of iron. Let me go in there. Do I have a block of iron? An iron casing. I thought I had an extra block of iron. Uh, and I need a bucket. So I'm going to grab that, get our block of iron, and we'll be good to go. Let's see. Let's make the stamper first. Oh, I didn't grab any copper. Copper. Uh, there's copper there. So we'll get that. Now we should be good to go. Uh, stamper, make that, and then we'll make the stamper stamp base. We'll make that, and let's take a look in the uh, a ding -a -ling. there we go, we got a ding -a -ling there. Let's look at the ancient codex and see what it says about the stamper and the stamper base. Uh, to shape molten metal, you have a form, blah blah. To stamp metal requirements say place the stamper with two blocks above the base. So we're gonna go ahead and set it down, so there has to be two blocks above it. Uh, with two blocks above the what is 
what did I say again? <laughs> uh, place the stamper two blocks, so basically one block in between. That's what I thought. Okay, so let's put the stamper base. Let's set this right here for right now, and then we're going to uh, let's just put this magical wood in between. Not using that right now. And then, oh wait, no, the base goes down here. Oh my goodness, uh, the base. So let's go down here, and then the stamper is going to go up here. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. And let's take this out in between. All right, so we got that set up. And then what else does it say? Uh, give it ember as well as a particular stamp pipe mold molten metal into the stamper base and it should begin processing. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to give it ember and I'm thinking ember goes on the top. We got four sides here. So let's go grab us another uh, receiver and emitter because we're going to emit from both sides and I should have, yeah, I got a lever there. So. Let's put these up. I am starving. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and eat this. So remember I had a, uh, some food last time that left me with a cup? Apparently you can eat the cup. <laughs> so let's go ahead. And that's a brand new item for me. I haven't eaten this yet. So um, I'm going to go ahead and eat it while we can. All right. So let's put the receptor here. We're going to put the extra emitter here. We're going to stick a lever on that. And if I wanted to, I'm going to link these. Well, not, I don't need to, but not that I want to. Right, we're going to link these. Remember, shift click on the receptor and then click on the emitter. And then if I turn this lever on, it should shoot juice up there. Okay, so let's leave that lever off. We don't want to lose up all our ember because it just keeps going if you don't uh, tell it to stop. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the other items this quest wants us to make. It wants us to make the bar stamp, a flat stamp, and a plate stamp. So basically, this is an ingot, a plate. And a flat stamp. I don't know what the flat stamp does. But let's make all these. So we're going to need to make a bar stamp, which is a raw bar stamp, which is just four of the those little balls. Do I have any more of those balls left? I may have to grab some of those. I think I smelted all the ones I had up. Oh, that's all right. They're, they're not that hard to make. Remember, they just need clay. So I got my squirt gun and my, and my, my dirt thingy here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a few more of those. We'll just keep some raw on us at all times. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Use our squirt gun here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And I need sand. And I think. Okay. It's, I'm going to skip a step here. Because uh, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this before. I think I can just get sand. From putting cobblestone in the mana pool, and since I'm not worried about mana as much anymore, since I got all my uh, all that green stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. Yeah. So if I put sand, uh, cobblestone here, I should get all that sand. Sand. Okay, that's enough for right now. All right. So let's make up some of this these uh, little caminites. I'm probably saying that name wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So that's just four of those, right? Yeah. I'm gonna need a lot of them. We'll just take all of those there, and then we'll make the the bar stamp. Okay, so we got the raw bar stamp. We're gonna need a flat stamp, which is uh, eight of these things. Okay, so we'll make that. And the last thing we needed was the plate stamp, which is just four in one each corner. Okay. All right. So those are really easy to make. Again, we're just going really slow through the embers mod. Um, you know, because I mean, it's, I like this mod. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, take these things forever to smelt up. Let's put you in there. And come on. Hurry up. I'm blowing it goes faster. That way it works. All right. That one there. And get the last one. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Any day now. There we go. Ding a ling. Ding a ling. There we go. Quest complete. Let's grab our loot chest and uh, move on to the next one. Let's open that loot chest now because I am thinking, okay, I, I got I got it. I got it. Uh, ooh, chicken armor. I don't really need that. Okay, let's put this away for right now. I'm using this as a dump chest until we get into um, uh, uh, applied energistics. Did I drop a piece because my inventory was full? Did it not give me four pieces? But it gave me a full set. Maybe not. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we got that completed. Now we want to talk about Dawnstone. Okay, so it just wants them, us to make Dawnstone. And it says that um, 
The Dawnstone is an alloy of gold and copper that can only be made with the mixer centrifuge. So we're actually going to get into the mixer centrifuge. Let's eat some food. Let's eat some fruit salad. I'm starving. So, oh, I want your head. Silly, uh, Enderman. I want your head. I want your hat. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come here. Where'd you go? I want, I want that hat. Oh, don't stick up on me like that. Okay. Sorry, guys. I have to do a little Enderman. Oh, my gosh. You are annoying me. Kill, just give me, give me your hat. Give me, give me. That's a cool, I want that, I want that hat. You're wearing that hat next time. There we go. Ivy Curves. I like this. It's such a cool hat. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's heal up a little bit here with some uh, fruit salad. You know, fruit's healthy for you. All right. So let's look at Dawnstone in the, um, in JEI and see what the recipe is. So it says it's a stamping recipe from making molten Dawnstone. Molten Dawnstone is made from, in the mixer, I'm going to need to get gold, copper, go, just gold and copper. Okay. Now, this is where we're saying I need the melter unless I'm going to actually melt it in the, um, in the uh the tinker's constructs and and somehow get the liquid out of there which i can put it in tanks and then filter that into here but we're not going to go through that process we're going to do it the right way let's put these items up let's put all these items up here uh i know this part up here is for mechanism and i did i did get confirmation back that that jet that jet pack is from mechanism and i'll probably uh, we'll make that next episode i spent a little bit of time this episode researching um ember stuff so i didn't get a chance to make that but again thank you so much boyd for that suggestion because i, I want to fly i want to be able to fly around all right let's put these balloons up that's what i was trying to do all right so melter we need to make a melter which is going to require ember and all these different things okay so the melter really easy to make i need a plate copper dawnstone a furnace and iron and i just put some stuff over there Ugh. I'm just thinking too far ahead. So we're going to melt us, uh, make us a melter. All right. Let's grab that and that. Uh, I'm going to need that and that. I'm going to need a, just a bunch of stuff. Take that for right now. I need to make a furnace. So I need to have cobblestone on me. So that's good. And then we'll look in the uh, ancient codex and see what it says about the melter. Because the ancient codex is, is not bad. It's actually explaining some things to us. Maybe not as thoroughly as I would like. Uh, let's grab us some copper. And I think I need more iron. I think I need more iron. Uh, something I'm missing. Melter. Oh, that's it. I got it. Okay. So, melter. Let's look in the codex. Where's the codex? There it is. All right. We need, and I'm just guessing where it is, energetic, the plump, we already made that, the plump, uh, what is that, on that camera, oh, that's cool, I have not gotten into everything around here, there we go, melter, using the power of the activated ember, you have devised a way to melt down objects, when the melter's bottom, wait a minute, when the melter's bottom is, blo bottom block, Okay, the bottom, so the two-parter, wait, it's a two-piece, it must be, uh, it's provided with ember, it will melt down multiple items, and its top block into the liquid state where the melt where the molten fluid can be piped out for external use. Oh, so it's a two-parter. Wait. So it's just a melter. Where's the bottom piece? Um embers melt. Mechanical core melter. What's the bottom piece? Okay. I mean, what what's the other piece? All right, well, let's set it down. It might, okay, I think, wait, wait, wait. Did I make this? Is this what I made before? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, no, this is interfered. If I set this down right here, ah, it is, it's okay, it's a two-parter, but it's basically just one part of it. Okay, so we're going to put the receptor here on set on the bottom, right? So what it said, bottom, bottom, melter, melter. Uh, yeah, the bottom block is provided with ember. So we're going to put a receptor down here and we're going to put a transmitter here. Now I don't have to actually put uh, an emitter on each four corners. I can actually reset this emitter to go to that one, but I like them having their own, um, places to go essentially. <laughs> uh, let's make us another lever, one lever short. And we're going to see about piping out fluids to get Dawnstone. I need sticks. I'm out of sticks. I'm out of sticks. 
Good grief. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Meter sticks. Got six and four. Okay. So let's make us some more levers. I'm going to make, you know what? I'm making 19. I'm making 19 levers. I don't care. I got plenty of resources. Because uh, I'm going to need those levers again. And put you back in here. Here we go. Okay. So where am I going? And, uh, over here. We're going to put this lever. Hi. Hi, Adrian. Uh, yeah. I, I, I took your friend. I took your hat from your friend because it was a cool hat. And he looked at me funny. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we're going to put the lever on here. Because remember, we, we, Embers loves levers for some reason. And I'm going to sync these two up. So shift, right click on that, right click on that. Oop, turn on the lever. There we go. So we're getting some Ember juice over here. It's basically powering it up. Oh, wait, do you work on both? Did you turn both of you on? All right, well, whatever floats your boat. Okay, so we got some juice in there. So what I'm going to do... Um, Let's see. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything in the descriptions. Um, melt into top block into the liquid state where they can, the, where the molten fluid can be piped out for external use. Now this is where uh, Linda said it kind of gets confusing. Uh, now I'm wondering if this is an upgrade because when I hold shift, it kind of tells me what's in here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just melt down some stuff. I don't, let's see. We need to make Dawnstone. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to melt down in here i'm going to melt down so i just need four for four gives me eight now 144 is what we need <laughs> to eventually get us that so i think if i do one ingot of gold one ingot of copper i should get two ingots of dawnstone that's the way the math should work um because 144 is actually one full ingot so it's going to go on the stamper so let's grab a coal uh, a gold a piece of gold there we go and a piece of copper we're gonna let them smelt individually. Now there should be four tanks. Oh, is there only one tank in here? Hmm. And I have the fluid extractors, which is where we're gonna pull into um, this thing here. Remember, the bottom one has the tank, the top holds the embers. So I think if I somehow set up the copper to go here and the gold to go in the other one, it should work. All right. Yeah, this only has one tank. So if I'm gonna put one ingot in here, all right, I'm gonna. Feed it some ember. It should melt it. Yeah, I got a gold ingot. So it should melt it eventually into gold. There we go. I got a little bit of gold in there. Okay, turn it off right now. All right, so I'm going to. I had fluid extractor. Did I have fluid extractor? Did I not make a fluid extractor? It was a quest. Did I make this? I didn't complete the quest. Let's make the fluid extractor. Let's spell it correctly. So the fluid extractor just takes redstone and some fluid pipes. Fluid pipes are iron, iron pipes and that. All right, do I have, I have, I need a crafting table. We'll use this one over here. All right, so we're going to take one of those, smack it with a hammer, and then we're gonna put these two with it. That gives me the pipes, the fluid pipes, very similar to those. Now I need redstone, which is gonna be way over here. I don't know, we're almost at the end of the episode, but. We're getting it to work. We should be able to get it to work. And, and that means in my next episode, I might be able to somehow mess with the recipe for antimony. Uh, let's grab two of those. And do I have enough to make the fluid pipes? Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab that fluid extractor. There we go. Okay. So let's try this and see how well it works. I'm going to... Um, we're gonna pump out, I need two fluid extractors, so dang it, I need one on each corner. Well, not necessarily, hmm. Let's just grab some extra redstone, just in case. Let's see, I might, I'm kind of guessing, uh, and the answers are all here. Nobody can figure this out, all right. Let's go ahead and let's pull the fluid extractor, let's just put it right to the this one here. So we're gonna take this fluid extractor, oops, already taken it out, and we're gonna pump it down here. So I think that will work. And as usual, we need a lever to activate that. Where's my levers? I made 19 levers. What am I doing all my levers? Seriously. There's one there. Did I? I don't know what I did. Okay. <laughs> They're around here somewhere. All right, let's put that there, and that should pump into there. And now we have gold there. Now, I wonder if I put the copper in here, 
And don't tell me you see levers. Oh, those levers were not there a second ago. Okay. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> whatever lever. All right, let's turn this off for a second. Okay, so that's cooking up. That's going to smelt down into some copper juice, hopefully. Okay, so that's smelted down. And... Will, does it have to come out into another one or will it feed this into a different tank? That is my question. Okay, it's out. Okay, doesn't look like it's going out of this one. So I think I need to have another one. Another, or maybe I can just do it this way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's my fluid pipes? Can I just do it this way? Yes, I can. Woohoo! Okay, go all in there. Why are you not going all? Oh, I'll turn it off. Okay. Uh, on, on. Okay, Will that work? Does that work? Does that work? Yoohoo! Okay, so I'm sorry. I'm just so happy about that. All right. So in the next episode, what we'll do, we're going to be extracting. Um, well, these should turn into. Oh, I don't have a. Uh, which one turns on you? Uh, wait. This is. Wait. Which? Which one? Which? Which one? Okay. Oh, uh, I don't have a, oh, okay. All right. I'll tell you what, we're going to, we're going to finish up the Dawnstone in the next episode. I need to make sure I have this receptor hooked up to the right part and uh, we're going to go on. So for right now, guys, I know it's kind of a cliffhanger. I hate doing cliffhangers, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and are learning things. I'm learning so much. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, tricks, techniques, or just want to say hi, leave that comment down below because you guys comment and feedback. I, I just love, I love hearing from you guys. It's so awesome. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the like button as well to be notified when new episodes come out. If you want to hang out with um, me and any other, other squad members, you can do so by becoming a Patreon. Uh, be sure to click on the Patreon link in the description field below to learn about all the awesome awards, such as hanging out with us in Discord or hanging out with us in any of our servers. If you're looking for a server to play on with your friends, be sure to head on over to Host Havoc. It's what we use for all of our multiplayer series, as well as all the Patreon servers. And I think that is about it. I know I could click on this, but I'm going to leave it with your cliffhanger. <laughs> anyway, guys, until next time, I will talk to you later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.